am hoping to show um, the era of data-driven materials design as an innovation multiplier. Um, if we collect, produce, curate, really systematic and high value data sets, that's important not just for one research group, but also for the, all the people who, uh, who end up using that data set, uh, which accelerates their research as well as the group that produced it. Um, I'm also hoping to show that um, producing those systematic, robust data sets is, is difficult and what it takes to do that. So I'll show a little bit of software infrastructure and, and the value of interdisciplinary teams to, to create these, these infrastructures because it requires both, um, both people with expertise in software, high performance computing, um, domain science to know what you're doing. Uh, and looking forward or analyzing our society, um, it's necessarily not what we fund interdisciplinary teams like that. And it's not what we educate either. So, so creating these teams is difficult and, um, and, but highly valuable. We've lived this from the very beginning. This was, uh, this was our mission uh, to, to create the kind of infrastructure that would allow us to produce these data sets and deliver them to, to the community. And I think we've found that not only is it highly rewarding, but it's also, as I said, it's challenging because you are dealing with interdisciplinary work, uh, attracting people to those kinds of careers, uh, retaining them. Once they become really, really good, then other people like to, uh, to snap them up. Um, it is a very moving target as well. We've, we've sort of positioned ourselves at the very big sort of forefront. Many of the decisions we made early on were were new people for example uh, we chose a new kind of infrastructure for databases that were very new at that point mongodb that's now being adopted by many other people uh, we chose python over other languages uh, we created the first api for materials data and all of these sort of have become standards today so we have seen ourselves as trailblazers in this data-driven materials design. I really hope that attendees will take away not only sort of excitement of what data can do for material science. Um, it's somewhat surprising to me that in parts of, the, of our society, we, we don't doubt the value of data. If you look at security or, or traffic you know, patterns or uh, even going to a restaurant tonight, we take data almost for granted that that has an inherent value. But in science, we've lagged behind in the appreciation of data and curating data and keeping data in, as a value, as a, something that actually can, can accelerate people's science. And um, I'm hoping we're gonna change that. We all have to really re realize that we are part of this data infrastructure, all of us, and we have to contribute in order to, to become the, the data revolution of material science.